blowing? Yep. All right, man, what's up? Uh, we out here in uh, fucking Columbus, Ohio, one of the biggest pieces of shit city on the planet Earth. We out here, there's a bunch of filthy people out here. You look around, everybody's filthy. So yeah, you got a number of adulterers and faggots, transvestites, weirdos. All kind of weird shit flourishes out here, man. So we coming out here to, to condemn this wicked ass country. Uh, we out here to tell these people they're gonna be destroyed. Or we now we ain't telling everybody gonna be destroyed. If you ain't right with the most high, if you ain't following the commandments of the Lord, you're gonna be destroyed. Hey, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Do you know He's that America's gonna be destroyed? People are faggots, man. You you talk to somebody, they just ignore you like a big faggot. You know what I'm saying? That's disrespectful. Like if somebody says something to me, I'm not gonna, like I'm better than them, not gonna, I'm gonna answer them, you know what I mean? Hey, if someone asked me if I got change, I at least have the decency to stop and say, no, I'm not gonna help you out. Yeah, just going and pretend like they're invisible, you didn't see them, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm gonna get, man. I ain't playing nothing. I'm just gonna first scripture catches my eye. Why are you looking so mad? I got I got a scripture again. I'm gonna get John 8. Okay. I got a scripture for y'all. Y'all read the scriptures? You don't know about no scripture. You don't know shit. Okay? You're just retarded. Okay? Just like everybody else. Fucking stupid. Hey, what's up? Where y'all from? You Korean or Chinese? You look like China. You from Israel? Korea. Come here. I got, I want, I got something Come to tell talk. you. Come talk. Come talk. We got plenty of time. You know what I mean? Goddamn niggers. I'm sorry. Fucking sick. He say Israel. Uh -huh. I'm going to read a scripture. This is John, what is it, 8? John 8 and 42. If God were your father, you would love me. Now you got all these people out here. They believe that they love God. All these whores, they, they all wear that crucifix necklace. You know, they like to pretend they are God when you can see their breast. They always have the necklace resting right on their breast. You know what I mean? Do they think they're godly? If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I myself, but he sent me. Now this goes to these people out here. It says, why do ye not understand my speech? Why do you not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. And really he was talking to the Pharisees right here. But this goes to all, all these two-thirds demons out here, okay? Because they, they don't hear, anything we say, they're not going to hear it. They're not going to understand it, okay? The, to, to the words of wisdom, words of wisdom sound like foolishness to a jackass, okay? Like when a, when a fool comes up and listens to what we're saying, well, we, well we, he thinks we're foolishness, you know what I'm saying? And wisdom to him is uh, selling drugs, you know saying getting money, wearing some tight ass pants, and listening to some garbage ass rap music and trying to come out with a new rap album or a mixtape. That that's wisdom to a goddamn coon, okay? Look at these fools. This goes to the majority of people out here. John 8 and 44. Ye of your father the devil. So y'all's father is the devil. Okay? Your father is the devil. Y'all worship Satan. Ye of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. What's the lust of the father? I mean, their father is a devil. What is a devil lust after? Being a faggot, taking it in the ass, okay? He's a pedophile. He worships Satan. That's why, that's why the Church of Satan was founded in San Francisco by Anton LaVey. Did you know the Church of Satan is under a 501c3 tax-exempt status? Okay, and they don't have to pay taxes to the government. But y'all are okay with devil worshippers walking around? You okay with faggots walking around? You got transvestites walking around? 
You got Somalians walking around, Muslims. A Muslim's supposed to get put to death. A faggot's supposed to be put to death, okay? According to the Holy Bible, you're supposed to kill homosexuals, okay? According to the Holy Bible, which is the law of the universe. But y'all a bunch of foul, degenerate people. See, you see a degenerate is going to engage in degeneracy, which is being a homosexual. You know, blowing out another man's asshole. That's what faggots do. They, they, they have anal sex. And see, the anus was not designed to, to put penises inside of it. Because when a man puts a penis, he, he can explode the man's anal cavity. Yeah, women's like getting their blown asshole yeah, blown happens, out too. You're not supposed to have sex with a woman in the ass either. Okay, you're not supposed to fuck a woman in the ass, okay? That's that's the poop. That's where the shit comes out. If you did not know, so why in the first? How, how disgusting is that? Here is that fight for faggots' right rights. You know, if you're famous, if you say anything about homosexuals, your career is ruined. When here is a faggot supposed to be put to death. That in their career. You know what I'm saying? So what kind of sense does that make? This is the most backwards country I've ever seen in my life. And you people embrace your own slavery. Bunch of faggots. That's because a faggot's not going to fight for his rights. And a faggot is not going to fight for his freedom. The only freedom a faggot's going to fight for is to be a faggot. That's it. He don't care nothing about uh, helping no one, uh, helping the oppressed. He don't care nothing about the poor people. The only thing a faggot is thinking about is, is fucking people in the ass and raping little boys. That's all he cares about. And worshiping Satan. Say ye of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. That going back to Cain. Okay, because Cain is the devil. See, the devil is actually a man, okay? And, that, and the devil controls the world. The Rothschilds, that's the devil. The, all, the congressmen, the senate, those are a bunch of devils, a bunch of demons, okay? Barack Obama's a devil. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. So uh, Barack Obama, he ain't no Biden in the truth. That's where Obama wears a ring saying praise Allah. He's a goddamn Muslim, okay? And, uh, and most of the congressmen and the senators, they're all Freemasons or Shriners, which all goes back to Islam. That's why you can get on the internet and look up a picture of Harry Truman. Harry Truman, he's the president that dropped bomb, that dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You can look up Harry Truman on the internet, and he was a Shriner, okay? And he was wearing one of the Muslim hats. It's called a Fez, okay? Because that goes back to Freemasonry. That's why the Shriner's uh, symbol is a crescent moon. Just like the Muslim symbol is a crescent moon. Because Allah is the moon god. They worship the moon. And also, the Muslims are the dumbest people on the planet. If you call yourself a Muslim, that just means you're fucking retarded. That's all that means. It means you're stupid and you're retarded and you got a foul spirit on you. That's why all the Muslims, they go out in Saudi Arabia every year up in Mecca and they all dance around a, a rock. They call it a Kaaba stone and they worship a meteorite. That's how stupid a Muslim is. That tells you, that, that sums up Islam. Because Islam was a religion founded by Muhammad, the illiterate prophet. Did you know Muhammad was illiterate? He couldn't read, he was retarded. Did you know that? Look it up, it's a fact. Look it up. But check this out, this is, this is a good scripture right here. John 8 and 45. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. So we come out here and tell y'all the truth, y'all don't believe nothing, okay? But you'll believe everything CNN tells you. You'll believe everything Fox News tells you. So people ain't gonna believe nothing until the devil gets on TV and tells them, okay? Because they're perfect, obedient slaves. I said, which of you convince of me is sin, and I say the truth, why do you not believe me? It's like, we say the truth to these people, how come y'all don't believe me? Because you're of your father the devil, that's why. So we ain't impressive, we only out here for the, a small percentage of people. Because most of these people just ain't fucking right. Okay, because this Bible says, uh, 
Many are called, but few shall be saved. Or no, many are, well, the script, that's an apocrypha, says few shall be saved. But the Lord in the gospel said, many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, that's in Matthew 22, I think. But let me continue in this. It says, he that is of God, heareth God's word. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. So when people, they scoff at us, they come up, they, they don't believe what we're saying, they have a problem with what we're saying, that's because they're not of God. That's because they're a damn demon. Especially these women, these women come out here, they have a, they, they the main ones that have a problem with everything that we say. Okay? Because they're a bunch of demons. I'm going to uh, skip to, uh, I'm going to read something out of James. Give me a minute. I think I was gonna get uh, James trying to say. All right, here, let me, I'm gonna read this. I got James. James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses. So that's what the Lord said. The Lord said this is a wicked and adulterous generation. <clears throat> that's why in America, do you, hold on, a loud ass piece of shit card. In America, it is legal to commit adultery. Here it is, the 10 commandments says, thou shalt not commit adultery, but in America, you're allowed to commit adultery. There's no law against it. And actually, a whorish, adulterous woman, a hoe, a bitch and a hoe, can commit adultery, have five different babies' daddies, and get child support from each and every one of them. That, that's totally wrong. The Bible says an adulterous woman is supposed to be put to death, not rewarded with child support, okay? Uh, so, so that's why the scripture said this, James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. And all these men, all these men, they, they a bunch of uh, demons too. Your best friend will fuck your wife while you gone to work, okay? Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. When people are like, how come y'all so mean? You don't like nobody. But the scripture said you're not supposed to like nobody. We ain't supposed to be loving you people that's part of the world. You out here committing adultery, I'll say embracing uh, faggots, homosexuals. Okay, y'all fighting for marching, having parades, fighting for faggots' rights. You got faggots saying they the new black people. How goddamn stupid is that? They, uh, that's why it says this, uh, James 4 and 5. Do you think that the scripture saved in vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. So y'all bunch of proud goddamn demons out here. All you care about is yourself. All, all, all the rap music you listen to, what do the rappers talk about? They talk about how great they are, about how awesome they are, about how much money they got. Okay, how much dope they slinging? But how many? They talk about how many? Uh, they they talk about how they fucking your bitch and they got your bitch. You better watch me. I'm gonna get your bitch, nigga. That's all these rappers talk about. All they talk about is adultery, selling drugs. Okay, and just being a damn demon. That same thing with country music too. Country music's all adultery. R&B is all adultery. Okay. It says, uh, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. It said, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. So y'all got to cleanse, y'all got blood on your hands. Uh, he's wearing a pink shirt, a turquoise shirt, and a purple shirt. Yeah, we got these faggot ass weaklings walking around with pink shirts. We got, and that's a common occurrence. And a lot of men these days are wearing tight ass pants and wearing pink shirts. Okay, looking like a bunch of weak bitches. Looking like a bunch of, they are faggots, they're a bunch of faggots. 
If you're wearing a pink shirt, you actually deserve to be punched in your face. But y'all got no problem there. Now it's a, the new thing is wearing skinny jeans. If they ain't wearing their pants down to their goddamn ankles, they wearing some skinny jeans. They still showing they fucking showing boxers it. while they fucking wearing their skinny it's jeans. It's disgusting. It's filthy. Okay, the Lord gonna kill y'all if y'all doing that, man. It said, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your... Oh, this is a good one. This is what's gonna happen to America right here. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. So you, like people, why y'all so grumpy? The scripture said, humble yourselves and, excuse me, it says be afflicted, we're afflicted. We're so angry because we're afflicted, okay? If you, if you have a job, you working 40 hours a week, here it is, you busted your ass working like a slave every day, but when they give you your check, half your check is missing. They done took half your money in taxes. So we're afflicted out here. Just like these women I was saying earlier about these adulterous women. You can go bust your ass for $40 a week and a woman will take, take your whole check for child support and leave you with nothing. But that's because it's designed that way. See, in America, they give women rights in America so they can break up the family. Okay, so they can further put y'all in subjection. And it's easier to control your ass. If your whole family's broke up and you constantly dealing with women trouble, you, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna rebel. You ain't gonna talk shit about the government. All right, so that's how the government uses the women to control the man. And a lot of these men, they, they let the women control them. They're a bunch of weak bitches. Where's that? It said, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. That's a point on that one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna skip to James 5 and 1. James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. So all, all these bankers that starting with the so-called Jew, just like, just like we seen in the news, I know y'all was watching the news, and I know, what's that faggot's name, Sterling? David Sterling? Or is it David? Well, the owner of the Clippers, it came out, he was a big racist, like that was a shock. But y'all didn't know he was a so-called Jew. And a so-called Jew is the biggest piece of shit on the face of the earth, okay? The so-called Jew, he owns the NBA. He owns the NFL, okay? He owns the United States government. He owns the Federal Reserve, which prints the money. The so-called Jews, they print the money. They control Hollywood. And they produce all that Hollywood filth that you let your children watch, okay? The so-called Jew controls CNN. They control all the major news outlets. And they feed in all you nothing but lies and propaganda. Why is that? Because the Jew is the devil. I'm gonna get a scripture real quick. Cause who are, what's up bro? You ain't, <laughs> you ain't down with Muhammad still, are you? You ain't still talking that Muhammad shit, are you? I'm just saying bro, you gotta wake up to the truth. You're gonna be destroyed. It's gonna be all over for him. He, he said get, that's good. He gonna, you know what I'm saying? He gonna get turned to cause we already talked to that guy. He's a Muslim. But he's actually, he's, a, he's pretty cool cause he had a lot of questions. He's just lost. He's an Israelite though. What was I about to get? I forgot. Oh, I got it. We was talking about the so-called Jew. Cause that's what nobody's questioning a Jew. What happens if you say anything bad about a Jew? What happens? If you're a famous person, if you say anything bad about Jews, your career is over. Why is that? You're not allowed to speak bad things about uh, your rulers, okay? If you want to find out who is ruling over you, if you want to find out who are the true masters of the world, find out who you're not allowed to talk about. And that's the so-called Jew, the devil. Okay? okay? 
Revelation 2 and 9. I know that works in tribulation and poverty. Now, the so-called Jews, they're not poor, all right? We're poor. He said, I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. The real riches is the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are the Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Let me read that one more time. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are the Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So the so-called Jews living in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews. Because first of all, originally the real Jews were all black. They were all dark-skinned people. And there ain't a single black person over there in Israel. And if they are, they get discriminated against. Because also, the state of Israel is the most racist country on the face of the earth. Do you know you're not even allowed to marry a so-called non-Jew? Okay, first of all, you have to be a Jew to even move there. But, it, but they want to call you know everybody else racist, you know what I'm saying? And anti-Semites. If we say anything bad about a Jew, we're an anti-Semite. No, we're an anti-Edomite and anti-devil worshiper. Whereas I'm going back to that James, that law. My Bible just ripped, man. It's all messed up. I need a new Bible, man. I'm gonna go back to James. Y'all ever read the book of James? Y'all ever seen X Files Dana? Scully? Yeah. They go to Scully's cousin. I'm sorry, laughing. She must have seen X Files. Hey, X Files is a good. See, uh, see a dumbass bitch will watch the X Files and they think that's all just made up. Oh, that's TV. When, when in that TV show, they cover actual conspiracy theories that were around way before that show was even formed. Let me get this. James 5 and 1. Go to, go to now, ye rich men, starting with the so-called Jew. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Like, everybody's talking shit about uh, your boy Sterling, the owner of the Clippers. They is all happy that uh, he got banned for life. But how come y'all ain't banned the commissioner for life? He's a so-called Jew, just like Sterling. He believes the same shit as him. Okay? You should protest the whole goddamn league. Who, who's the commissioner of the, uh, is it, if you look at any sport, it don't matter what it is, a Jew controls it. Okay? We got Goodman, Spielig, Silver, what's Stern? All Jews, so-called Jews. They're not, we're the real Jews. We're the, the so-called Jews Living in the state of Israel are not the real Jews. They're a bunch of faggots, all right? A bunch of devil worshippers. The real, real Jews are the uh, so-called black man in America. That's a real Jew. Well, there's some jakes right there they was listening. Said, James 5 and 1, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. So miseries of slavery. All the so-called Jews are going into slavery. Okay, they're going straight into slavery. If you're a so-called Jew, your future is slavery. Okay, slavery underneath the nation of Israel. Let me get this. Uh, I'm going go back to Revelation again. I'm gonna prove it. People are like, all right, you say you can't put people in slavery? Oh, yes, we can. And we ain't gonna do it anyway. We ain't gonna do nothing. It's the most high is gonna do it. The most high.